Hello everybody, my name is Kate Demore. Welcome back for another video of NHL 19 Franchise Mode. We're going to continue this series. Um, we're going to start right off where we last left off, which is the question of Sorry Jarvi, the guy, the defenseman that we're going to trade. We're not going to trade Bartley. Bartley is a medium elite. We got to give him at least a chance in our team. He's a prospect that we traded, that we drafted. We gotta give him a chance, you know, uh, and not just trade him right away. Sorry, Jarvi was never actually, was he? Yeah, he was drafted by us from the third round, but he's a top four, low top four compared to a medium top six. I want to try the medium top six instead, even though Sorry, Jarvi did a great job over his career in here. I, I gotta get rid of him. Gotta get rid of him just to test out the other player instead. So we're getting rid of him. And we're going to trade him for another defenseman that can play in the minors. He's not going to grow too much. I believe he might eventually be able to play in the NHL. He might be, guys. He's already a minor top six. So he's got some potential and uh, with a third round pick, basically, to add it up. So let's do that trade. There we go. Uh, to the Capitals, of course, the Stanley Cup champions. They might want someone like that to solidify themselves. Why not, right? We're going to give it to them. So, we got all of this. Let's hope uh, everything's good. Yeah, he went back where he was supposed to be. So, my lineups, I believe I already did everything I was supposed to do. It's in the AHL, of course, that everything's not good. So, let me just switch that up for this guy. And we should be good. All right, unless it is the extras. Every time it's the, always the same thing. So... Extra attacker. I'm just going to switch it up for this guy. And also, where is it? It's a shout out, a shootout. We're going to switch it up for the defenseman as well. There we go. All right, so I just want to make sure that everything's fine for the, for the defenseman wise. That's a two way with a two way. Who's that exactly? That's a top four. He should probably play there. That's a medium though. Should probably play in the top six. Let me see real quick. That's a low. So lows don't need to uh, especially Actually no, it's the mediums can grow can play higher than they supposed to. Okay. Uh, it's the lows that need to play in their position. So these guys need to stay there. I guess offensive a two way, that's good. And we've got two uh, a low right there. So I guess we could play him, but he doesn't. We don't. Want, we don't want him to play too far. So what is this guy exactly? He's a defensive defenseman. This guy's a two-way with another two-way. We're gonna try that out uh, like that, I guess. Unless this guy, no, the medium top four would probably be better if we just played him where he is. So uh, unless we play him higher than he's supposed to. Let's try to play him higher than supposed to, guys. Let's try it out. All right, so NHL-wise, I'm just going to look at the lineups really quick. What I did is I put Panarin up with Ecker and Menta. So always this, the first line, it's always now it's not going to change, guys. The second line is not going to change too much. It's the same one as last year uh, with Zvetchnikov. That can still grow, but it's basically going to stay forever. Uh, a second liner guys he's not gonna grow into a first liner uh, he's gonna play with Larkin of course and Eberly now here's the thing we've got a two-way we're a playmaker win a, in a power forward we don't have anybody with Ecker yet that can screw or score and that might hurt Ecker in the long run uh, he never really had so far he's 20 years of 22 years of age how, um, how much um, years did he got three years in the NHL he got two good years but it uh, was because they played like crazy. Uh, if they don't play well, then he's not going to play well. He needs really someone, a sniper, to guarantee himself to play uh, on his own level. We've got Adam Ernie with Rasmussen and Cody Brown on the third line. Really great, through, like, uh, concentrated team. Fourth line is a little bit weak. A little bit weak, guys. They're all fourth liners. But it is what it is. Uh, defense wise, um, Petri Angelo with first alignment. This is where we upgraded ourselves big time. Uh, we've got Chilwiski, 
Todolski basically with the Doug Yannotten, which we he played the entire year last year in the top two position. Now he's playing top four where where he belongs. He's gonna play and Hutton in this uh, t the top three basically. He's gonna play with Bartley. Help him out big time. All right, help him out because Hutton plays very well. I'm hoping that we're gonna get good simulation out of this team, guys. With Robrowski and Malaki Prost are my franchise goaltender that is finally ready this year to move up so we'll see how and we gotta keep a, a close eye on this one this guy right here he, he's gonna be ready uh during the year all right maybe towards the trading deadline he will be ready to play for our team so we need to keep an eye on him that's for sure we also got the scouts i want to make sure that i've signed everybody it's taking forever guys okay i haven't assigned the scouts so let me just do that and we'll start the simulation we're going to uh, simulate all the way up until the first game of the actual uh, season because we got to look at the scouts again i got i have to look at the scouts again for the uh the season so let's just take a look quickly at the preseason the way it looks uh preseason is always a good reminder of all the teams going to play during the season overall um it doesn't impact the same way but it's always a good like a good try a good uh, check on the, what uh, what's gonna happen for us we had a really great year finally a great year last year um with no bad simulation at all just a bunch of neutral neutral simulations and some couple of a good ones two or three good ones so it permitted us to get for over 40 wins which was pretty good and also, we went pretty far in the playoffs. The playoffs were really good for us, even though we went three times in a row in the seventh game. So we kind of had some luck in there. And Menta is injured, so that's not good. Fully healed? Okay, so it was a minor injury. Nothing too uh, serious. So even though we didn't make it to the Stanley Cup, we almost made it, but we lost to the Stanley Cup champions. So that's a consolation in itself. Um, I'm hoping that this year, since we made it this far, we can make it farther. Now I'm aiming for the top. I'm aiming for the top, boys. We've got the we got the team. We got the depth for the the playoffs. We just gotta make sure that we get past. Uh, we get into the playoffs, and we should be good. There's there shouldn't be any problem for us to get in the playoffs first off, and for us to at least get back where we were. Or at least even further, so it means the Stanley Cup. So the finals of the East or the Stanley Cup, all right? No, not not less than that. No, it's basically what I want. It's where I want to be. All right, let's start this up. I'm ready. The scouts are good again. So let's do the ten, the first 10 games of this season. You already know it's going to be a normal video. So the seasons are not going to pass by as quick as... The previous videos uh, normally it was one season per video and it's kind of gonna be uh, half of it almost or it's gonna be uh, divided in three or divided in two we'll see how it goes two four six eight and ten so all the way up to the Pittsburgh Penguins game in the other month so an entire month of simulation here the first month of simulation let's see how it goes let's see how we play if I have to switch strategies, if we don't play well, we'll, uh, we'll do. I would just want to go look, take a look at our team, the way we play and everything. So he got a minor injury, so he's good. We, we win the first game 6-3, to three, so at least we scored a lot of goals in the first game. If it's the first game, we can't uh, take an eyes, uh, eyes on that really. But it's a, good, uh, it's a good thing to start off like that. So now, we did lose 3-2, to two, so... Well, it looks like so far we are uh, giving up three goals per game almost. So at least two to three goals per game. So we might check that up. Uh, I thought our defense was really good. It turns out we're giving a lot of um, a lot of goals. Maybe it's our strategies that we're, we're playing too aggressive or something. Probably. That's probably it. So if I have to switch that up, if I have to switch the fact that we're playing a little bit too aggressive, I will. I will play, make our team play a little bit more uh, conservative because we can't score goals, that's for sure. There we go. So 3-3 so far. 
four three. So uh, we're getting, we're winning. We're winning games. We lost like two games in a row uh, in the regulation. So we haven't lost in overtime at all so far. But we won five games so far, and that's that's good for me. That's good for me. Uh, looks like it's going to be a pretty great. It's going to be a decent record. Uh, Krejci on the fourth line is injured now. Yeah, Krejci on the first uh, fourth line is injured, so that means I gotta replace him for our death. So scratched, I guess. It's uh, Brock Nielsen, I believe, or Brent Nielsen. I don't know what Brock Nielsen. There we go. He's gonna play on the center position. Why not? Uh, while the other one gets up, but Nielsen should be a good player, a good replacement, hopefully. I took him as a free agent, so I'm hoping he's going to be great. So we had a decent uh, first simulation, a really good one, actually, 6-4. That's what I'm looking for, even though I kind of want to get points out of these losses. It's still fine. It's there's still more wins than uh, than Guy goals. It's not like the Pittsburgh Penguins, 6-2, to two, but it's fine anyways. And Svechnikov's actually playing pretty well in that uh, first 10 games, guys. He's already at 8 points. Svechnikov plays like a scorer right now. He plays like a scorer. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Okay. So let's see overall at our team, the way they're playing in the edit lines. This is where you don't want to look at this in the stats position. You want to look together what they're doing, if they're playing well at all, if it's what the hurting us, hurting them, or like where are we getting giving goals that much so firstly we've got of course Panarin right here he's an assist man we already know he's like a two-way forward so Ecker is doing the points at least there's that but only five points in ten games you see that he's not he doesn't have anybody to score with it's only ten games though so we're not gonna do anything really because we had a good uh, simulation so we we don't want to switch the lineups at all because of that. We want to switch maybe the strategies to help out a little bit more. So Menta. Menta looks like he scores goals now. Looks like he's going to be the one scoring goals. Svechnikov. Uh, so basically, yeah, the, the first line is doing great, uh, great with the plus minus. F second line as well. Looks like the third line is the one hurting. Yeah, the third line is the one having difficult time. Yeah, all right. Third line is not playing well. We got an enforcer two-way, yeah. Two two-way forwards with an enforcer. We don't have any playmakers. Uh, I figured maybe that was going to be a problem. But it is what it is. We can't really change that. Of course, uh, Brock Nelson's a replacement. But so far, the fourth line is playing well. So it's really just the second, uh, the third line that's struggling. They're playing kind of well together, so it's okay. Playing really, very well with Chilowiski, Hamilton is. And Otten playing very well with uh, Barthe as well. It's going to help him grow big time. Good, good. So, what I'm uh, going to do is see how much, how many, uh, let's look at the stats. That's how, uh, how many uh, goals we're giving per game. Maybe we can switch that up. Maybe we can uh, see how it goes, I guess. Atlantic Division. So, let's see. How much points per game, uh, goals per game we're giving, uh, we're gaining? We're scoring a lot of goals. So we are scoring goals, that's not a problem. Goals against per game though, are actually not giving that much. It's not terrible. Yeah, it's not, it's not terrible. Montreal Canadiens are giving like three goals per game. We're giving 250. So there's not that much problem. You know what? It's not that many problems, guys. We don't have to change it that, that much, actually. So, I guess I don't have to do anything. Let me look at the scouts and we'll turn out the second simulation. Let's see how the second uh, set of simulation is going to go off. So, 2, 4, uh, 6, 8, 10. I believe... So, uh, hang on. 2, 4... Six, eight, ten. All right, so all the way up to the Colorado Avalanche game. We're going to see how it goes all the way up to the 21st, basically. See how we continue to play afterwards. Not uh, Didn't switch anything. Didn't switch the strategies. Didn't switch the lineups because we are not giving that. We're, we're decent in, the bo in both goals per game and goals against. And Brock Nielsen is injured. Our replacement is injured, guys. 
So both of our players are injured. I'm not going to play a defenseman in there. So we need to go for the roster moves and go for the NHL, AHL. See who we can get it in exchange. Good God. That's just ridiculous now. Come on. Uh, death. We just need to see that. Hang on. Where's the, uh, the death players? Okay, you know what? Just forwards. Forwards. There we go. There's a deaf one. So, yeah, Patrick Schwartz, I guess it's your time, buddy. Or, or Peter Schwartz. It's your time. It's your time to play in the NHL. Get your first games in the NHL. God damn, I didn't want to do that. That's going to hurt everybody. Well, well, boys. So, Peter Schwartz, he's going, he's going in there, guys. NHL-wise, I guess we got to switch that up right here like that. And we got to basically put somebody else in there. I guess Olmstrom actually. Yeah, Olmstrom. I got him for a reason. I re-signed him for a reason. So let's uh, keep him there. All right, guys. Let's see how Schwartz goes in the fourth line for a couple of games here. Todd Bills in the minors got injured. I think that's one of our big prospects. So that's, that's not good at all. We're getting hurt by the injuries a lot right now. Which is not a good thing. Now we are still starting to lose a little bit. Oh my God, Panarin's is injured. We gotta get another player from the li <laughs> from. <laughs> Everybody's injured. Everybody's injured, guys. What's going on? We got three players that are injured right now, and Panarin is like our top, top left winger. We can't do this. All right, let's go roster moves. Let's see who we can put instead. Okay, guys, let's see. We got Cogliano. <laughs> another forward. Cogliano is going to play. He's going to have another chance for the NHL. We got two players from the AHL moving up into the NHL that they need to play. They, they need to play there anyways. So, God damn it. And Brian Flynn, you're going in, I guess, right there. Going to switch all of that up. Later on, guys, there's got like a lot of injuries. Don't know what to do. Ryan Flynn, you're going in. That's a lot of replacements I gotta do right now. God damn, all right. Let's go. No more injuries, please. This is hurting my team a lot. Not, yeah. I don't know. We, we are still winning games for some reason. I have somehow, uh, I put Cogliano in. There we go. We're starting to win now because we got Cogliano on the first line. I don't even know what this game is, guys. But... I put uh, Cogliano in because he's a two-way forward, just like Panarin, so he's not going to hurt. He's not a different kind of player. I was looking maybe for a, snipers, or a sniper or a two-way forward to replace a Panarin for the time being. And it seems like he's doing the job. He's doing the job. So Todd Bells, he's back. Let's see in the minors uh, what kind of player he is. Todd Bells, he's a centerman. Yeah, he's one of our prospects, centermans. Uh, he can probably play there. He wa yeah, he, he was getting replaced by this guy, Els Hilson. So, Todd Bells, you're back. Get back in there. There we go. So, at least there's an injury in the AHL oh, that's done. That's crazy that we're getting so many injuries right now. <laughs> we're not... Oh, my God. There we go. There's another injury already. <laughs> we got someone back from the for the NHL. And there's someone that just got injured again. But, at least in the NHL... In the league itself, we're doing pretty fine. We're doing actually pretty good. We got a couple of goals and um, a couple of wins, and it's her, uh, uh, helping us big time now. A lot of players says it says a lot of players are good, eligible. So who's who's ready? Panarin is back. Good. He's going to be back for the first line. We're going to be able to put back. Uh, it's in basically our uh, our backup. So backup is uh, back. Krejci is gone for a long time, I believe. So. We can get rid of Peter and Cogliano. Peter is doing really well in the fourth line, actually. And you think about it, you see it right there. He's playing really well with Zablocki. But he needs to go somewhere else. Uh, somewhere else. All right, he needs to go somewhere else. We need to play uh, Nils Nelson. And we need to play right here. Panarin He's going to be back in the first line. He's good, and let's uh, let's switch it up. Let's uh, get them back where the so they actually belong, and uh, hopefully, 
they'll play they start playing better in the a a h l I, I i guess so who was it again it was the centerman i believe yeah peter schwartz and it, i don't want to do that to the type of player we got right now that was a prospect peter schwartz right there he got his chance he got his chance to see how he would do peter schwartz you're going back in there and brian flynn same thing for you Bogliano. so both of them playing together they're getting packed together i guess so peter schwartz what is he a, a a playmaker that's a three forward with a sniper actually that's pretty good that's pretty good but we might we might uh, try that out instead kevin mackey maybe that would be better for him because he wasn't playing well in the ahl with uh Cogliano. so let's try it out all right actually our team is playing really well in the ahl as well as you can see 10 4 and 2 that's pretty good our team overall both teams are playing very well Knyatsev, it's going to be a lot of stops and go. It's a lot of injuries right now are, are happening. So, uh, yeah, it was our, one of our best defensemen. So, we got to replace on the fourth, uh, first duel. Let's replace him again. There we go. So, couple wins, couple losses. But if we got some losses uh, in overtime and shootout now, it's still in shootout. So, we're still losing in shootout, but not as much, I feel like. So, that's really good. We're good. We're actually winning in overtime now, as you can see. So, really good. We got a, a shout out right there. So, that's really good. Let's see our record after the 10 games, after 20 games now. The last 10 games, we went 6 2 and 2, which is really good for us. Same record as last, uh, last one. So, two good records in itself. But this one is actually better because we got two bonus points out of it. So, yeah, there we go. We're doing pretty good can manage to get that thing going it's gonna be great so Panarin is our best uh, player right now with 14 points and he got injured for a while there he missed a couple a couple of games so that means our players are not producing that's the thing our players are not producing but it tells us that they're doing fine let's let's take a look really quick let's take a look at what we got if I need to switch the strategies I will do it uh, that's how we're gonna know if, if, if everything's good so no we don't need to switch the live the offensive the strategy that's for sure because goals per game we're scoring we're the second team who scores the most goals per game somehow I don't know how that's happening it's it's probably because our team is all of our players that are scoring doing points so it's evening it out for everybody there's not just one player that's gonna do a hundred points per season I guess and for goals against, we're still playing. We're even playing better. We're playing better in the goals for against, against for game. So we're playing very well in our team, guys. Very well, defensively and offensively. So I'm really happy with this team. Don't want to switch anything. Let's continue the way it is. Our third sequence of simulation will happen on t up until the 10th of December. So we're, we're gonna pass this month, finish this month up, and begin the other one. So all the way to the St. Louis, uh, St. Louis Bl uh, games, uh, St. Louis Blues game. I can't talk right now for some reason. Let's see how we simulate for the third time. So two first simulation, we went six and four. Um, thinking we're probably going to do the same thing or around the same record. Uh, it's going to get harder and harder uh, as we go by though. So we might have to switch things up eventually. But let's see how it goes. Um, we are we did lose three games in a in a row but we got managed to get at least a point out of these three losses and now we're winning again and look at that five and oh five and one so we're not giving too many goals seems like the way it's balancing out is there's a lot of games that it's kind of a 50 50 situations where there's a, some games where we're gonna give a lot of goals some other games where we're not gonna give any goals whatsoever and that's why it evens it out and that's why it's not it's not really showing it probably in the stats so yeah we're giving a lot of goals we're scoring a lot of goals too though which i'm really liking this is the, the thing i am liking a lot we're scoring a lot of goals and uh i'm really happy about that really happy so actually a, a worse record than the two previous one but a, a good one nonetheless because we end up five three and two so another good record we're 
three good records in a row guys i think playoffs are almost in check for us almost i don't want to go too far just yet but that's a that's a good start really good start for us still svechnikov is now a, once again our best player svechnikov is having a season of his career he's having a really good season and uh all right i i just gotta look at the scouts basically i just gotta look at the scouts i still want to look yeah we're still I still want to look at every time we're going to look that's the new thing we're going to do we're going to look at that basically the goals per game i'm still the one that's scoring almost the most goals per game it seems the same every time every time guys we're basically playing very well. We're playing very well in both ways. It's probably the power player, the penalty kill. It's always been that. Uh, where I like the Montreal Canadiens in real life is the power play is actually pretty fine this year. So power play is good, and penalty kill is good as well. Penalty kill is good. So we don't have to switch anything. We don't have to switch the lineups. We don't have to switch anything at all. The strategies, everything's good the way they are. A don't score got injured, I believe, but it's, it was a minor injury, so at least there's that. And Krejci is still not back, if you remember. So Krejci has been injured for a while. I forgot to look how much time he was injured, guys, and how much time he still got injured, basically. That's hurting us a lot. I, mean, I don't even know if it hurts us, uh, hurts us that much because we're actually playing pretty well. Uh, it's just a player on the fourth line, so it's not like I'm gonna make that much of a difference, but still it hurts a lot. I mean, we we signed him. He's a, a signed player. We want to play him on the fourth line. He's instead almost the entire half of the season. We so far we've played only one player and it was a deaf player. He's doing the job Nelson is doing, or Nelson, whatever his name is. He's doing really great job in the fourth line, looks like. But uh, still, still it hurt, it's hurting us. Crawford is injured. We got to replace him with the other goaltender, I guess. Crawford, which we signed to be our backup this year, actually ended up being an AHL player instead. And it, it went the other way around. It's actually uh, our franchise goaltender that became... An eligible uh, player. So Larkin got injured, but minor injury. So that's all good. It's all good, guys. So that that's uh, interesting. I I kind of want to see how Malaki Pras has been doing so far in this season. Um, I feel like we he did pretty well, or maybe a couple of these losses are his problem, because he's a young a young young goaltender with a, a team that's very aggressive in front of him, not a. A defense that's very aggressive as well. But he's got like Petriandro and Rissaline in front of him. He should be able to play well. I don't know. It's may maybe it's not him, maybe it's Brobowski. I doubt it with the year he had last year. We'll see what kind of simulation we got after the fourth one. So what's the fourth simulation like? It was five, four, and one. So still a good simulation. I'm happy with that. And now we're getting points per game players. Alright, that's good. I'm happy about that. Menta is actually our best player now with 39 points in 40 games. Menta is playing on his head, uh, playing uh, really great for us. So let's see where we are. Arizona is playing actually good. Can you can actually believe that? Arizona playing good now. It's 2023. So finally, they may get uh, somewhere. All right. Well, let's see a look at our lineups really quick. I just want to look the way we're playing. It's four, it's four, uh, the 40 games so far that we've played, and our team's looking like that, guys. So, all right. I just want to see who's not playing well. It's still the third line. The third line is getting hurt a lot. So this is the lineup that you can see that's getting scored upon. Uh, 14. Like, yeah, they're they're not playing well together because they don't have the type, the right type of players playing together and i could try to do something about that actually there's something i could do um ernie scoring goals looks like they're all scoring goals perfectly fine in the third line as you can see but we might need one of them i mean adam ernie i might want to i, I, I want to keep him i want to keep him 
Cody Brown, I think, uh, no, not Cody Brown, Connor Brown, I could probably trade him. Could probably trade this guy, guys, but he's a really great player. Look at this stats. Stats is playing way better than he should be. Uh, Rasmussen, top six, I kept him for instead of Valeno, so I gotta keep him. I mean, I gotta keep him. I mean, I made a choice between him and Valeno. And Ernie, we're gonna keep it the way it is. We're not making any trades, we're playing good. And Dunscoy, of course, with Nelson and everything. Nelson, it's not going to be uh, the best thing ever, I guess. I felt they, play, they played well together, I guess not. Petriangelo with Ristolainen. Petriangelo with 22 points, pretty good. And a lot of points for uh, Ristolainen. That's what I like to see. Ristolainen. Petriangelo has been disappointing the last year uh, when we uh, signed him. But now this year is actually producing like he's supposed to. Bristol Einstein is already producing crazy. Jalewski is having a tough time. But that's okay. He's playing with ha Hamilton. Which Hamilton is actually doing good. And Bartley is playing good. And look at Bartley. He's growing, guys. He's growing. I love it. I'm loving it. He's 80 overall now. And what about... What about him? Bor uh, these two goaltenders. Luceb Roboski is doing really well, 18, uh, 18 wins, yeah, it's uh, it's probably Prost that's getting all the hurt right now. Uh, Roboski is playing on his head, and franchise goaltender, let's say, yeah, it's Malaki Prost, it's our franchise goaltender that's having a tough time. He's playing well in the AHL, uh, though, so I don't know why that's a thing, uh, I guess Malaki Prost... It's not, not having a great first year. Not having a great first year. It's okay though. This is our backup goaltender is well protected. He's got four wins, seven losses. He's giving four goals per game. So this is the goaltender that's giving us a hard time. This is the one that's giving us the losses, guys. All right. Thought our franchise goaltender would be good for some reason, right? He, he should be good, but I'm guessing he. Uh, not that good actually huh it's not that good that's not good at all for us what about um ahl wise for a goaltender because we got pit uh glass is he good no he's not good what about our goaltenders all right Corey crawford is injured okay that's why k pit is doing fine yeah he's doing really well that's what i like to see guys that's what i like to see and Schwartz is actually up to 80 overall now. He's definitely going to be ready for the NHL this year. Uh, during the year. So after 10 games. Probably next 10 games. Uh, the, the next simulation. You'll, you'll see he's going to be ready for to play with us. Uh, crazy. With uh, Olmstrom. Which I don't know why he's playing. I guess he's the one replacing the other players. Fogiano went down a little bit. But that's okay. Anybody who grew aside from that, I think a couple players grew, but not too much. So Schwartz is the big one. Uh, our elite player is going to be ready to play in the third line for sure because he's a 80 overall, probably third line or fourth line. We'll see how he uh, how he goes. Um, we got these guys right here. Our both of our defensemen, I believe, grew. They grew up, not too much though. I don't know why I signed these guys. They're low leads. I shouldn't have signed them. But it's too late for that to me get past that now. Alright guys. Really good for us. Really good. Nilsson is not playing good actually. I don't know. Nilsson is not playing good. Why is it? Why is it a, a thing? So we got the playmaker in the blocky. Ooh, is he doing well? Yeah, he's doing like a play. Playing like a playmaker. Power forward of course is going to be... He's going to toss the players and two way forwards is just going to, he's going to try to do both. Maybe, maybe we can get rid of, instead of playing Brock Nielsen, maybe we can play, we can try something out right here, guys. Maybe we could play, um, I guess, P P Peter Schwartz instead. Maybe we could do that. I mean, Schwartz is not ready uh, per se to play. In the NHL, but we could probably play him in his position as well because Nilsson is not in play, playing in his position. 
and uh, see how it goes. He's a death forward, um, and we can always, even if Krejci comes back, I mean, we can always play Krejci, like, keep him on the bench. He's a fourth liner. He can you know, play as a death forward. Hasn't played how many? Played nine games so far, guys. That's crazy. How much is he injured for? Like, does it say somewhere where, like, how much is he injured? I guess we gotta go see somewhere else for that. Let's look at the lineups. Switch the lineups. Get Peter in there with Donskoy and Zablocki. I think he played, he was playing very well with these two last time. Now he is a playmaker. That's what it says at least. It says he's a playmaker. How much, how did he play when he was in the NHL? How does he play in the AHL? That's my question. So he plays like a playmaker. In the NHL, he kind of played like a sniper when you think about it. So he played like a sniper in the NHL, but he plays like a playmaker in the AHL. So we're going to keep him at the way it is. All right. We've got two playmakers. Let's see how it goes. Um, really, I'm hoping that he's going to have a good rest of the year for him. So test him out guys see how it goes and uh, back to the lineup so this guy right here is gonna be I guess I guess it's gonna be um, Olmstrom right here because he's a centerman so Olmstrom is gonna be playing there and uh, Nelson is gonna be playing on this position as well there we go our team is already upgraded right here well not upgraded it's actually downgraded but I feel like they're gonna play well together maybe let me look at your two way forwards. Nah, they're not playing to play well in the first line, but it is what it is. I want to switch that out. Okay, guys, so I'm thinking I'm just going to stop right here. We're the half of the season done. 40 wins, uh, 40 games played. Got a lot of good players. We're playing very well. I'm happy about my record, so I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to go on. We're going to keep it as it is. I feel like it's a pretty long video so far. So remember to leave a like and subscribe to the initial video. I'm going to see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy, guys.